so uh, this is this is the pathway off the off the farm the gate is over there i don't know if you guys can see it over there and um then you come up here and you get down over the hill my house is sticking out over there uh, this this road is obviously as hard as rock it's been compacted uh, over many many years of heavy vehicles driving here this part over here and i'll see if i can find a, a photo somewhere of what it used to look like um, was also compacted they used to park trucks here against the wall and you got get from that side they would get forklifts to offload building material when they were building the whole mountain pass that's over there the michelle's pass so what i did about a year ago is i covered this in loose grass that uh, we that we were um, sort of gifted and uh, this has been the result everything started to grow here beautifully now i've planted two trees here which i grew from seed these are two date palms there's there you see the baby baby little date and the other one is over here and in time they're going to become quite beautiful and spectacular there's the other little one there you can see it all right my problem with this ground let me just step back my problem with this ground is it being so compacted when it rains we get a lot of runoff here now i can't really stop the runoff here in the road okay so i'll have to catch it over there but that's that's a that's a different project anything that rains here also runs off everywhere over here except where i've got the swells up here they'll catch a lot of the water so what i want to do today is i'm going to and i should have done it before the uh, before i put the grass on 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 onto the surface but what's done is done so i'm going to rake away some of the grass measure out where the swell should be then dig the swell and just put the grass back on top again so you'll then have a water a harvesting mechanism in the ground and i'm thinking of at least two of them i want to put one here by the by the palm tree make it so that this tree has a better chance at this point the tree is doing very well but it's it's winter now although you wouldn't say it, this is our rainy season <laughs> welcome to south africa uh, so I'm gonna when the dry season comes I want there to be ground or re water already in the ground so that's what's going to be today's mission if I could just get one of the swells going here maybe up here somewhere I'd be very happy it's five minutes later and I found out the swale is going to be a lot of work so what I decided is I'm going to take the tree there you have the tree in the middle and I'm going to do what I did with the uh, with the um, olive trees over there which is the subject of another video I'm going to make a drainage bed around it so I just marked off the line there and you see it going around here actually going around here then up to there and so mark it off around the tree and I'm going to level it out everything that's on top is going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to slope it slightly downwards towards the uphill side if that makes sense so that the uphill side is deeper so it becomes in effect a sort of a, a, a round type of a swell now as i mentioned earlier this ground was very very dead completely compacted and everything it's been covered in a thick mulch for about a year now you can see all the new growth of the grass and everything there but take a look at this this is what we found under the grass this is beautiful soil this is beautiful soft soil so uh, that is that is really good to know I also found a lot of my mycelial growth as you can see there and uh, also found this guy let me turn to the sun look at how beautiful that is there's a lot of life in the soil um, within a year we haven't done anything to the soil apart from from just covering it in mulch and uh, yet this is the result so uh, this is this is spectacular news very very good news right a good couple of minutes later and with some help uh, this is how far we are now uh, I took off all of the the mulch and we placed it around it the mulch is gonna go back on top and then I marked it out all the way around 
and we sort of stayed within the confines of those markings uh, you will notice on that side let me just step closer on that side there it is deeper than on this side I don't know if the camera will actually pick that up let me see if I can yeah there you go you can see it clearly here so this is deeper than there everything that we loosened here and these are all rocks and over there and over there that came out of this little thing so what we're going to do now uh, we raked out everything put it on that side so this is not deeper this will catch water and the reason why this needs to be deeper and not that side is this is on the uphill side of the ground the water comes from there so now we're going to replace all the mulch around here and then right at the end we're going to we're going to continue with the stone mulching because those are some of the rocks i already had a couple of rocks there uh, the rest came out of out of the hole and then finally i just couldn't keep going there so we're going to place the the mulch back fill up this thing so you probably won't see very much when we're done except that you'll see of course that the ground was disturbed and then all the rocks will go back on top of that to increase the the, um, the water evaporation or the water harvesting rather uh, of condensation in the mornings we've now replaced all the mulch so you can't see what's happening all the complicated stuff down there it isn't really all that complicated so now we're just gonna um we've replaced the the, the the plant material the organic mulch now we're putting the inorganic stuff there the rocks and uh so uh, i'll show you in a few minutes what that looks like this is the normal grub what do they call it grub eater snail eater slug eater slug eater it's an afrikaans a little snake we call it tabak roller key they're completely harmless to people they eat insects and snails and so on and they might be the reason why I don't have any any uh, snails here where my where my spinach is growing we found a couple of these guys in here as well three of them beautiful ones here together there were quite a lot more actually they're also a sign when you start getting these slug eaters and these grubs they are a sign that your ground is busy recovering so uh, this is now the second this is the other tree over here that we just finished and this is now the second one um, we've now dug it out and you can see the ground looks like it's been machined it looks almost like there's a concrete floor there uh, now I have a small little uh, a date palm in there as well and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna measure out here on the upper side on the higher side which is on this side we're gonna make it a bit deeper so any runoff that goes in there will be caught up in that circle around that tree and uh, then we'll we'll be able to feed the tree like that much better than no, than it would normally be if it didn't have that. Yeah, this is this is your typical uh, turkey's nest swell that you're seeing here. Uh, when we discovered that the ground here around this palm tree was perfectly level in all directions, we decided in order to to start harvesting some of the water. It's going to flow under the ground here, under the mulch. We're going to catch it into in the turkey's nest and allow it to infiltrate there. Okay, we finished our, our turkey's nest uh, uh, swells here. And uh, we, we, I forgot to film. And I blame other people because they didn't remind yeah, me. Yeah. They didn't remind me in time. I reminded you afterwards. <laughs> reminded me afterwards. Uh, we dug this the turkey's nest swell. We made a couple of holes over here because we found some humongous rocks that had to be removed. Okay, so that is done. And then I forgot to to film them, but uh, we still have. We, we now covered it. We, it's underground now. You, we won't see it here. We took all the topsoil that we'd removed and we just put it here. And then the part that we removed from out of the turkey's nest is there where Leo is standing now, and he is going to sprinkle some of the uh, the inoculated lupin seeds. Oops, inoculated lupin seed you guys see here. They they've been inoculated with, with rhizobium bacteria. Gonna they're gonna he's gonna sprinkle that around here, Leo on that part where you're standing, so that we can start getting the um, the nitrogen fixes growing here, and then just to help recover this because this is now disturbed soil, uh, but in a year's time this became beautiful soil. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this remember to like and subscribe. Bye.